Hey everybody, Ryan McCaffrey with IGN. I'm joined once again by Roland Lestrell and the game director on Just Cause 3. We've got ourselves another scenic pretty view. It is, this is another totally new area of the game that we've never showed off before and this is kind of our second region of the world where you're gonna find a lot of things like giant cave structures and tunnels and here below us you can even see kind of a cenote style system where there's a base inside of the ground. Nice, but for today, you were telling me earlier about the crazy in-game mod system with Just Cause 3 that uh, lets you just customize the crap out of the game and do all sorts of crazy stuff. I was hoping you might be so kind as to show that off for the world here. For sure. I mean, we we thought long and hard, like, how do you upgrade Rico? Rico is not really a guy who gets upgraded. Yeah. He's already Rico. <laughs> <laughs> He's a finished product. Yeah, it's already Rico. Like, it doesn't get better than that. Uh, so we were like, well, how do we create more creativity for the player? We wanted to give the player all the tools, so as they got deep into the game, and you know, this is the sort of game people do spend countless hours Absolutely. inside of it, how do you keep players engaged in finding new ways to play it? So the mod system allows you to kind of change how the game functions and increases, hopefully, your creativity inside of it. So let's look at our first uh, mod. We're gonna jump in to do a, a rebel drop right now. We're gonna rebel drop ourselves a vehicle. Um, so our rebel drop system, pretty easy, you just need a beacon, you can rebel drop any weapon, any uh, special weapon, two-handed weapon, anything okay. you want, any point. Um, but we're going to rebel drop ourselves a vehicle. So let's get ourselves something not too big so we can really mess with it. Okay. Uh, maybe a sports car, always looks good. Maybe a vintage sports car, yeah, that thing is sweet. Let's just drop that. A little, little, little James Bond esque, a little, little, little Italian flair, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you throw the beacon, and pretty much anywhere you want, uh, it will rebel drop. So we're on the top of this little mountain here. Uh, we're going to want to have a car <laughs> delivered to us right there. Uh, yeah, and so we're going to jump into the vehicle. Here it is. Beautiful Let's do blue it. sports car. So uh, if we go to our mod screen briefly, um, I'm going to show you guys. So here are gear mods. You unlock them in a linear fashion. Right. However, and you've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, like eight categories worth of these. Yeah, and they do all totally different things. So if we go to that first explosive category, for example, um, you'll notice uh, in the top left it says glass grenade. Yeah. So a glass grenade's cool. When it lands, it explodes. Um, but you might not always want it to explode because you might want to bounce it off a wall. Sure. So we thought instead of it just turning on, you can actually turn that on and off. So you notice now it's active. Now your grenades are going to be glass grenades. Yeah. Or we turn it off and they'll go back to being regular grenades. Or you can have them seek an enemy so you can actually get it to <laughs> actually go towards an enemy. So we have a homing grenade. <laughs> now you combine a homing grenade with a glass grenade, now it'll home in <laughs> on them and explode instantly. on impact. Um, or you can do a smart fuse and make sure it only explodes when it's near an enemy. Or if we go to our next explosive category, for example, um, here we have our planted explosive. Now you could have a booster instead of your planned explosive, and we'll play with that in a little bit to kind okay. of show you what we can do with it. But you can also put it as a proximity mine, so you can like set up like a whole system of, okay, there's a proximity there. If a civilian walks by it, it's fine. If yeah. an enemy walks by it, explosion. Bad things happen. Um, so let's go over to our vehicle, the ground vehicle that we just spawned in. Um, go, let's go back to the menu, actually. Uh, over to the vehicle tab. Yeah, so in here you can see we have lots and lots of things you can do. Nitrous, obvious. Any vehicle you collect in the world at all can now have nitrous on How it. How about uh, a tractor? A tractor can have nitrous on <laughs> it. Uh, a bus, nitrous. A bus. Uh, pretty much anything you can think of. Now we have a sports car, it feels a little bit more normal to have nitrous. Yeah. Did you ever watch Knight Rider? Of Is course, the turbo when he gets he the 200 miles yeah. an hour. And he, he has that button Ooh. that's just like, I want to jump. Yeah. And that turbo jump button is hilarious, so that's in the game too. Nice. And so you can just turn it on. So any vehicle now that you've rebel dropped will have these on. And so we can turn on even the highest turbo jump. So let's turn on even the bigger one because we're in a special build right now that allows us to turn on whatever we want right now. Uh, so we have everything unlocked. And let's jump back into the vehicle that we we're in. This vehicle now has nitrous in it. So okay. we can let's do it. tap the nitrous button and boom, nitrous flying around out in the open world. Uh, spin around, like it. Um, but we can also turbo jump it. So you can now jump this vehicle whenever you want, however you want. And that's the sort of uh, running the rocks. You know, yeah, you know, the, the rocks. Things happen. Um, 
And that's pretty fun. It means that you can do this to any vehicle, and it's hilarious to do this to said tractor, for example, <laughs> because you can uh, now drift your tractor around corners, driving it, you know, hundreds of kilometers an hour. Uh, and that creates a whole new opening of like, create your own stunts, how crazy can you get, what are the vehicles you can do, yeah. and this is in combination with being able to tether and all that sort of fun stuff. So let's uh, show off the Planet Explosive quickly, uh, and we'll show how that can be different. So let's jump out, okay. we'll go back to our Planet Explosive mods, and in here we'll turn on the booster engine. So normally, uh, the Planet Explosive will just go off when you right, want of course. it to go off. So here we're going to put two planet of explosives uh, on the back corner of the car. Uh, <laughs> one on each tail light. And you're not going to spin the, the vehicle. Uh, I see. I think we can. Uh, we might still it. spin it. Yeah. I like it. We're going to spin. Put two <laughs> on the side. There we go. Maybe three. Let's put three. Put three right there. So now this is all going to be a, a kind of a propane tank fueled craziness. Where propane, it will do propane accessories. <laughs> <laughs> and of course it explodes eventually. And you can mod the time the fuse is, so you can have a longer fuse. Nice. And you can do this to anything. And of course, since you have no ammo for this stuff, you can keep doing it over and over again to whatever you want, moving it around, <laughs> causing it to always explode. And then think about combining that with the proximity mine. So oh, okay. you can put a booster on, I don't know, a civilian or on a car, <laughs> a, person. a person, and so as they walk by a military officer, the proximity mine goes off and then they'll go flying around. <laughs> and the idea is that we wanted to come up with as many crazy things as possible, and of course you can combine this with the grapple as well, so yeah. you can tether something down and then it's now stuck and you can pinwheel it and all that sort of thing. So let's show off uh, maybe a reel-in mod, some of the stuff that you can do with the navigation I uh, like the ability to shoot while reeling in. Now that we've talked kind of about some of the mods, some of the things we can do with the vehicles, all that sort of thing, let's jump in, get into a little bit of trouble, and show some of these reel in mods together. So one of our mods that we have is as you reel in, you can fire weapons while reeling in. So uh, up till now, we've shown a lot of ways to attack a helicopter, for example, <laughs> so that you can good. reel into the helicopter, um, but now you can reel in, backflip <laughs> over the helicopter and destroy it. So that allows you to kind of combine totally different ways of always attacking an enemy. And there's kind of like this beautiful, explosive, very action movie setup oh, where yeah. you can fire weapons at the same time <laughs> while you're really in towards someone, which is kind of the opposite of what you would probably want to do. Yeah, it's you like, want to walk away. You, you want to walk away cool from explosions. <laughs> yes. So it's true. It, it, it means that maybe you're you're going towards where the things are gonna blow up, but at the same time, it allows you to create like your awesome cool. action moment. You can reel in firing guns and all that fun stuff. And you can do this obviously to any vehicle, you can do this to any enemy, and so you can kind of reel in, <laughs> give them a big kick as well, uh, and so that you can do double damage. Reeling in, shooting, kicking, all at the same time. Great stuff. Well, Roland, thank you so much. This is a look at uh, the crazy in-game mod system for Just Cause 3. For more on Just Cause 3, you're already in the right place right here at IGN.